All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the mod of Redemption. Now, I start today's episode off with some pretty tragic news. I got a message from the mod developer that let me know if we do the next boss fight, the Kingslayer, as a chicken, we will break the boss fight. Yeah, apparently, if you do it as a chicken, it breaks all the dialogue for the fight. So I had a little bit of a moral dilemma here. Because we're running a beta version, this is going to be the new King Slayer boss fight that people haven't actually seen yet, but I kind of want to do it as a chicken. So here's the thing. Here's what we'll do. We'll do it once as a human, and then we'll go back and we'll do it as a chicken. Because I actually want to see how does the chicken break the boss fight. Because it makes no sense in reality. At the end of the day, it's a, a vanity accessory. Like, how does that affect dialogue of a boss? But you know what? I know nothing about modding. I don't really know the ins and outs, but we're going to find out. All right. Today's episode, scientific. But before we do any of that, uh, we need to kill some mechanical bosses because uh, to make the tech piece that we need for the boss fight, yeah, we need more souls of fright and we also need more souls of sight. Now, I went and grabbed some souls of light a couple of minutes ago because we only needed a couple of them. But yeah, we got some mech bosses to do, and we'll jump into the new boss fight, which I am honestly really excited about. What an opportunity, like, to, to show a boss fight that's not been shown yet. Like, that is actually such a privilege. Thank you so much, Mod of Redemption. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, but we got a little bit of time to kill. Got a couple of minutes. Actually, can we see right now? Can I make those mechanical things? Uh, eye, great. And skull, great. Okay, all right. This is good. <laughs> That would have been awful if we just couldn't do them. I'll tell you what I'll also do. I'll kill a little bit of time making some buffs. So, I have two show recommendations for all year. Alright, it's not very often that I get to recommend a show. Uh, but I checked out two of them last night and I really like both. So, I learned about Queen's Gambit from basically you lot chatting away about it in the comment section. So, I appreciate that. Alright, here's my recommendations. Number one... If you live in Britain or Europe, Disney Plus have added the show Solar Opposites, which is, I'm going to say like a spin-off to Rick and Morty. It's created by two of the three original people. It's basically Rick and Morty. That's, that, that's what it is. All right. It's really good. I would recommend that wholeheartedly. There's two episodes on Disney Plus, which is cool. Apparently, it's all out in America, but I watched them both last night. Very funny. I really enjoyed it as a Rick and Morty fan. Second one is me and Court watched an amazing documentary yesterday called Class Action Park about a water park that didn't have any safety rules. And it was mental. It was like actually crazy. If you get the chance to watch that, really good as well. Really funny. Johnny Knox film, the creator of Jackass, actually made a movie about it where it's like kind of loosely based on it, but with like real stunts and stuff. I've not watched that, but yeah, watch the documentary. It's really good. All right, that's enough time killing. We'll do a jump cut. All right, so it's almost nighttime. So we're going to do the mech bosses. Now, something I didn't really factor in is there are some upgrades that are available to us right now. Like, for example, we could go and get a bunch of life fruit. So me saying I'm going to do the Kingslayer twice is all good in that, but I'm going to have to beat it the first time. So please bear with me, all right? If I die the first time and I have to redo it, don't be mad at me. I'll tell you what, this will make up for it. People really wanted to see uh, this buff combined with this staff with the quad shot. So yeah, according to you lot, this was actually uh, nerfed a little bit since you last saw it. I did kind of figure that, right? Because when you lot recommend stuff, it's usually like absolutely spot on. You know, it's really good recommendations. You know, whether I follow through on your great advice is always like questionable. But yeah, you lot recommend the best stuff. So I was like, I, I knew it yesterday. When I saw it, I was like, all right, just let me really check it out. Because knowing me, I'll, I'll probably miss something really good about it. But yeah, yeah, I tell you what, it looked good with the quad shot, didn't it? Looked really good. And on its own, it's not bad. The slight homingness is, is probably like, well, to be fair, do you know what? This is the kind of weapon that I really needed when I was doing Skeletron Prime the first time. Something that's, you know, high damage and uh, and shoots like a gun, really. That's kind of what I needed. Ooh, so I saw today that uh, I think Pokemon are doing an announcement tomorrow 
And I know that it's probably going to be, or at least actually, I should probably change that. I know nothing, all right? Um, uh, what I'm assuming, all right, from what I understand, how about that? Is that a little bit better? From what I understand, the big rumors are that it's going to be a remake of the Diamond and Pearl games. And that actually legitimately makes me really excited because if you wanted to buy Diamond and Pearl today, it's really expensive. I guess if they do a remake, it'll probably still be like 60 quid anyway, so I don't know what I'm on about. Um, but I really liked the Diamond and Pearl games. I'll be honest with you, um, I probably won't buy a remake, just being honest. I don't really like the art style that Pokemon's gone in. I really love the, the original style. But yeah, Diamond and Pearl were like really good games when I was younger. So, if they do announce a remake and you're like, ah, I don't know if it's a good Pokemon game. It's, they're really good. They're, they're good games. I remember when, like, I remember being a kid and just, like, really enjoying the fact that when they released the, um, the third game, Platinum, it was so much better. Because I remember, I remember playing Diamond as a kid and just thinking, God, this game is really slow. And what I mean by slow is, like, not necessarily the pace. The pace was pretty slow. But just the text itself was mind-numbingly slow. Like, and if I can pick up on that and I was, like, 10, then, like, I can understand why, you know... <laughs> Actual adults used to moan about that game a lot. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm excited for Pokemon fans regardless. You know what I mean? Even though I know I'm not going to get it. I'm like, I'm excited for you lot. If you are a Pokemon fan. Pokemon has a lot of fans. <laughs> it really does. It's a massive franchise. So my, uh, my big obsession with The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker is coming to a bit of a close, I think. I've gotten to the point in the story for anybody that's played the Wind Waker where you've got to start thinking about the last um, the last temple and also collecting eight fragments of the, the Triforce. And it's kind of boring, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's become like a fetch quest almost, like just one giant fetch quest. Reminds me a little bit of um, Link's Awakening where you've just got to... Because Link's Awakening has this big, massive um, trading quest that goes on. But the only thing with Wind Waker is... is so in Link's Awakening, I always have the items to trade because I really loved um, exploring the map. Whereas in Wind Waker, I can't really be bothered to, to sail around constantly, just going to every little island. Because there's... I think there's 64 squares on the map, something like that. So there's 64 possible locations. But I'm always like, alright, one temple to the next, to the next... So because I didn't do all that throughout the game, I'm just kind of suffering a little bit. But I do want to complete it. I think maybe I'll do it tonight. I think I'm going to, yeah, after this, maybe sit down for a couple of hours. I think I've only got like two hours of the game left in reality. So i got to crack on with it. But yeah, I'm loving it so far up until this point. Probably one of my favorite Zeldas now, without a doubt. Like, the, the atmosphere is so nice. Right, so Skeletron Prime is down, and I got a whole bunch of, uh, of souls. Tell you what, I probably won't need to do that twice. I feel like that just gave me uh, enough souls to get by. I'll take a bunch of these blueprints, thank you very much. Um, so, we can now make the tech that we need to do the fight. So, it's called the Cyber Tech. Summons Kingslayer 3, only usable at daytime. Not consumable. Love that. I really love that. So that means that we can have multiple attempts without needing to um, to grind so much. I actually really appreciate that because at the end of the day, like, they didn't have to do that. But it's good for players that, you know, p players like me that probably will die to this fight. So I don't have to keep grinding out mech bosses. Yeah, that's that's a big plus from me. Well done. I'm so excited. Are you, like, excited for the, for the King Sire? It's, it's funny because obviously, like, I haven't played the mod of redemption. This is my first time, so I won't notice the changes. So this is more for the diehard fans of the mod. So I really hope you like it, you know? I hope that this is a good time. Okay, Kingslayer 3. Let's do it. So we're going to buff up to begin. Now, for this first fight, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to use the arena that I've got and see how that goes. Oh, oh god, Christ, don't look at me. It's awful. <laughs> at least I get to do this as a human with really nice armor. All right, that's it, summoned in. So are these like probes? Scanner drones. Target, did that say target unimportant? I'm going to be honest, it went, about, it went by a bit fast for me. Was, was that it? <laughs> Is that the fight? Let's try it again. All right, let's let's kill the the let's kill the drones. Oh, there we go. Did you seriously just destroy my drones? 
Yes, Kingslayer, I did. Ugh, not like I got a shortage of them, but I'm still going to blast you for it. Actually, you were the one that fought the Keeper, weren't you? It was me. That was my job. It was your job. Great. Now I have even more reason to pummel you to ash. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's the Kingslayer. I hope he's really good. <laughs> oh, I like his movement. Let me show you a little bit of his movement before we really get into this. I, I really want Mod of Redemption fans to like, oh, ho, ho, have a bit of an insight. So once again, I don't know how much it's changed. So I'm just kind of assuming, all right? Okay, raw reaction. I really like it. I do. I really like it. Like, uh, there's something about this that it's just like, I don't know. It's pretty chill. Oh, God, he's got a bubble. Right, so now we do the fight for real. Um, and we see how we go. I'm just going to try and guess his movements. Um, oh, I like I like the lasers because they kind of pop up twice in different directions. I thought that's kind of neat. I do think we'll probably need a, a bigger arena at some point. I'm kind of winging this at the moment. I'm probably not aiming very well. <laughs> Cut me some slack today, all right? <laughs> we'll see how we go, but I mean, just like, <laughs> don't expect too much, all right? Okay, all right. Let's pop up another one of these uh, just for the buffs. I really like the, the animations. I think they're really cool. This is the first um, small boss uh, that the mod of Redemption's thrown at me. That I've been like, all right, that's actually a legitimate boss. One that's not kind of meme -y, you know what I mean? Not like the boss is a meme -y, but for example, the janitor was a small fight, and I really enjoyed that. But that was kind of a meme -y fight, you know? This is the first, like, intentionally cool fight that I've been like, all right, that is actually legitimately cool. Oh, God, it's dark. And I've got confusion. There's a lot going on with this fight. I will say that. I feel like this is going to last a while. This seems like one of those fights where I'll, like, get really close to the end and then get absolutely knocked out. I wouldn't be surprised. I will say, this is the only thing with small fights. Like, they're really hard to kind of aim at. I guess that kind of works in its favor against me, you know? You know, smaller target. Kingslayer, what a nuisance. You're only wasting both of our efforts here. Why'd you summon me if you're going to run away? <laughs> All right, Kingslayer. Come on now. Oh, he called his mates in. I heard the I heard the chimes. All right, I heard the knock here. All right, what's that? Sending them a what, Sam? Leave it be. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if this is the best weapon to use, by the way. I'm just kind of... Oh, I'm just kind of winging it. Oh, Christ. Is he going to do that laser thing again? Oh, God. Yeah, you really don't want to get hit by this boss fight. <laughs> Getting hit is pretty brutal. Oh, God. It's called in more mates. I do think maybe there's probably, like, a better weapon I could be using for this. If I'm being honest, like, <laughs> I, I can already tell. Let me try to use this for a little bit. See if this is any better. Because this has slight homing, and that might actually help me out a bit. But, yeah, I think when we redo this, I'm going to need um, a bigger arena. Because I do think I will die on this one. This is, like, the big warm-up now. We'll see how it goes. It is dragging a little bit. I can't tell if the fight's dragging or I'm dragging the fight. Do you know what I mean? It's always kind of hard in these situations. <laughs> it's like this when I tried out a lot of Calamity boss fights in the early days. Like, I didn't know if I was using the right weapon or not. So they would go on for, like, a day. <laughs> and I just, I wouldn't know. Like, I've done it a lot of times in the second half of Calamity, if I'm being honest. Oh, God. That laser phase is hard to dodge. Um, all right. Let's get some buffs in. Let's get the, the quad on this one again. So I quite like the quad effect on this. It is nice. All right. So I don't want to run away too much. Oh, God. All right. Let's just... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I really like the drop kick effect. That is quite cool. You pack more of a punch than I thought for such a small flesh bag. I might have to even take you seriously. Pa, what a joke. Go ahead. Shoot me if you can. All right. Easy, mate. Easy. <laughs> so, yeah, so far I'm liking the fight. This this fight is cool. But I just need more damage, if I'm just being honest. Oh, God, Christ. Okay, let me try. Oh, God. I need more buffs. I need my, like, you know my special ability? I need that to kind of cool off a little bit so I can get some extra shots in. So all I'm doing really is just kind of dragging it through the world just to kind of see how this goes. Alright, quad shot again. Love the quad shot. Yeah, the quad shot's awesome. Thanks for recommending them this. Oh, oh. It's like loads of flying daggers, isn't it? So cool. 
So yeah, it just seems like I'm just going to get loads of bursts of energy throughout this fight. I wouldn't be surprised if I jumped quite a little bit in this fight, just because it is so long. This is getting ridiculous. Why can't I kill you? I'm thinking the same thing about you, mate. Like, why can't I kill you? Your persistence is admirable. Uh, but you better realize I'm hardly trying. I ain't bluffing either. Oh, I like that. <laughs> this whole fight's been a big bait. Like, this is actually a much harder fight. That'd be quite funny, that, to be honest. All right, so let's use let's use this for a little bit. So we'll do quad shots on this because I think I think this is doing more damage in reality than the the sunshard one. The sunshard one is ace though, but yeah, I think I think this is doing more consistent damage. So it is getting. Uh, oh no 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 oh no oh god! All right, okay, I was gonna say it is getting pretty close to the end. Oh god, I've got confusion really bad. All right, come on, get a hold of yourself, mate. Oh god, there's a flying turtle. <laughs> Alright, this this I'm gonna be honest, if I lose this, it's through poor arena choice. Cause I've absolutely like almost squandered my chance. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Well, we'll call it a draw then. <laughs> You've just been flying away the entire fight, seriously. <laughs> uh, if you stop attacking, I'll go back to more important business. Nah, let's just keep attacking. But if you so choose, we can continue. But I won't be happy if I lose. Alright. I see how it is. Yeah, why would I stop? Come on now. I've got you beat. Oh god, what's going on here? Uh, I'm disappointed. I actually have to overclock this vessel. And for an annoying brat, no less. Let's begin. Alright, come on. Let's see the overclock. Alright, he's got the thermal paste on tap. Alright, I see his water cool reservoir. Come on. How many gigahertz? <laughs> How many gigahertz you got, mate? Alright. See him right now? Rocking the 3090. You wonder how he got it. He is the scalper. He designed the scalpers. That's how he got it all. Alright, so he's... Oh, God, Christ. Christ. <laughs> I will be honest. If I die during this fight, I, <laughs> I won't be happy to refight it. It goes on forever. <laughs> I've got to win this one. Alright, I've got to prove myself. I've got to prove that I am actually the Kingslayer. Otherwise, it's all been boastful for nothing. Oh, God. Oh, poor arena choice. <laughs> it will be my downfall, I know it. <laughs> okay, alright. Oh, God. That attack, that one there is the one that's going to... Oh, God. Christ. No. Alright, just got to actually hit or actually heal. I don't know if I've got any chance of healing, so I don't dare check. Alright, we actually healed them. Okay, can I get a right click on that? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. We come into the end? Oh, I think we are. Kingslayer, please. Well, there we go. There we go. The Kingslayer has been defeated. We did it. I'm actually very proud of us. Wow, that was a whole ordeal. <laughs> that went on for ages. Look, I'm sorry if, if I was using the wrong class or the wrong weapon. But that did go on for a while. Um, so I got, I got my crown back on. I feel normal now. Uh, cyber loot box. Right click to open. Bam. Wow. Wow, we got a lot. So I'll get rid of this just because it's from the alchemy mod uh, and we don't need it. So what did we get? We got the Hyper Tech Blaster. Uh, pew, 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 pew. Replaces normal bullets with phantasmal bolts. Right clicking fires five bolts in an arc. Ooh. King Core. Material. Core of the Slayer. We got a medal. It reads, congratulations, you beat me. Have a medal, stupid Terrarian. It's a piece of wood painted in the shape of a metal. Hollow key. Unlocks hollow keys found in the crashed... Oh, wow. In the in the crashed spaceship. Okay. So we've got to go check that out. So that was... Where, uh, it's over here? Ooh. Okay. This will be a, a tomorrow kind of thing. Because uh, we'll make a, an episode about that. Uh, we got the pocket shield generator. Lethal damage will cause the player to summon a shield that can prevent at least 100 damage before breaking. We also got some plating. Uh, we got the Star Cruiser radar points towards the crashed spaceship. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That was really good. Um, great fight. It just went on too long. But I think it's I think that's my fault. Uh, I actually do want to see, like, what can we what can we make? So you can make the nanobot launcher, which we obviously can't use because we're a druid. Uh, rocket fist, range... Oh, so these are all ranged weapons. That's all right. Cyber plating makes the music box, makes the gun and the other weapons, but it also makes molten scrap. 
Right, so we're, you need a Xenium smelter. Is that the one that we already made? I'm a, I think it is, right? It's the... Let's go double check. Uh, but I think it's this thing right here. Oh, that's a Xeno Forge. So what do you... So what's a smelter then? Let's see if we can see it here. No? All right, okay. Uh, I don't know where we get that, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Xenium smelter. So what does molten scrap make? Molten scrap uh, turns into... Uh, Xenium bars. Right. And then this makes, um, a whole new set of, of armor. Is there a, is there a druid one? Hey, look at that. So, is this something that we do now, or is it something that we do later on? Uh, if you've got any advice, do let me know. But this is all great. Yeah. This is all really good stuff. What else does molten scrap make? Is it just molten scrap? Or oh, you can make molten scrap out of a few things. Right, okay. Oh, so you can make them out of um, this capacitor, but we need this, the Xenium Smelter, which we don't have. Okay, all right, that was cool. That was cool. Now, the only thing I want to test is, can we do it as a chicken? Will it actually mess up the dialogue? Let's see. So, I'm not going to do the full fight just because uh, it went on for quite a bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to start it in. Could you maybe possibly probably leave me alone? Oh, so the dialogue does work as a chicken. Right. <laughs> I tell you what, it would be really cool if you could uh, wear this as an actual medal. I would quite like that. So yeah, the um, the fight, yeah, it seems to, to still work. Uh, the dialogue worked. So I don't know what that was. Maybe it's been sorted. I don't know. Maybe it was like an old issue. Right, okay, so what is going to be next then? So yeah, tomorrow what we'll do is we'll do the, the crashed ship, which I'm pretty excited about because I think there's there's a lot of stuff in there. I don't know if it's just like a chest. I, I feel like looking at the size of it, I want to say it's it's going to be fairly large. You know, I want to assume that it's probably not just um, just loot, or maybe it is, I don't know. But I think we'll do we'll do this tomorrow. Um, and then we'll also get ready for Plantera. And look at that. We've already got a Plantera's bulb there. That's really cool. I didn't actually know that, um, you know, so I know that bulbs show up on the map, right? But I didn't realize that they show up even when you haven't seen the map in a while. Like, I haven't been to the, the jungle in, in ages. And to be fair, we do need some accessories from there or some items. I really want the, the Aglet of Wind so that I can make the, uh, the better boots. But I think for today, that is, that's going to be it. What a cool episode. Mod of Redemption fans, how did you find the fight? You'll have to let me know what the original one looked like. Um, I'm curious. I thought it was good. I did. I thought it was really good. Like, a lot of fun. I really like the dialogue in the mod as well. Like, I don't know. It's been, it's all been fun so far. Right? So I'll see you all tomorrow. Shout out to our channel members as always. Um, but that's going to be it. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.